Hello, Marion Newlands with Search Engine Journal here in San Francisco with Jonas Stein from It's the ROI. And you were speaking tonight about what Google doesn't tell you. Well, you know, for years, Google's been telling us to make content for users. And to a certain extent, it, it sounds almost rhetorical. And Matt stands up and says, I'll oh, just make great content for users and they'll bring you, you know, we'll bring you traffic and give you all this great stuff. What it's really only half a sentence because they don't tell you how they measure great content or what they mean. So if Google says, you know, we constantly are doing conversion testing on our site, looking to see what users like and look at user behavior and understand where they're engaging with your content. So make great content that engages users and we'll be sure to reward that. Then we could all walk out feeling like, oh, that, that, that had some honesty and some transparency. I know what to do. But you know, Google's in a, you know, this sort of rock and a hard place because as soon as they start talking about their user testing, then the privacy issues show up and people start asking what data they have and how do they use right. it. And since they feel burned by that whole conversation, they're really not being transparent about what, quote, great make content for users mean. So what would be your tips for making great user content? Um, the biggest tip really is when you optimize your site, optimize the the top of the funnel, not the bottom. I mean, you have a conversion goal, it's important, and if you're fabulously good at what you do, 10% of your users are converting and not many people get there, that's still 90% of users who are not. And most likely, even if you're fabulously good and you're getting 10% conversion, you probably have 50% bounce. So let's optimize for the people who aren't even being satisfied enough to stick around for 10 seconds and start to understand what they want. Give them the kind of segmentation they're looking for, good information set, like old fashioned hard stuff. Yeah. And magically those, the engagement numbers start to go up, people start to get deeper in your site. And as you continue to iterate on this process, you'll discover you start to rank for really competitive terms because basically Google wants to be able to return a site that in confidence is gonna answer the search intent of the user. And since they can't necessarily disambiguate that intent either, if it, the site successfully handles multiple intents, well then it's, it's more likely you're successful. And that's actually making content for users. It's making it for what they actually want. So what kind of content does that tend to be? Well, I mean, it really depends on the site. I mean, there's no like magic formula. I mean, nowadays people are asking very long questions. So a lot of like FAQ content, ironically, is, right. is really, you know, companies get upset because it doesn't seem to perform well, but people come, they get the answer. They're quite happy with that. They don't go search for something else. Uh, but really it's not a question of what type of content. It's, it's fundamental stuff. Where is the information sent? What are your segmentation options? And most importantly, do the segmentation options really just be three different paths to get users to do what you want them to do? Or are you really giving them three paths to get what they're looking to, to accomplish? Because very rarely does a user come to, to a site from search without some intent to begin with. And if you don't fulfill their intent first, you're not, you know, you're very unlikely that you're actually gonna get them to do what you want. Who do you see doing this well? Well, that's a very good question. Um, who do I see doing that well? Uh, I, I think actually Airbnb does a pretty good job if you get right down to it because yeah. you know they understand who their different audiences are and they, they try to add some depth and stuff. And and I think that you know Dennis done a great job of moving them from like a single listing to a greater context about that right. community in the area. So I think that that's a pretty good example. Um, a company like Great Schools, who's a client of mine, it went from that sort of single listing, single rating to understanding that they need to present information about the, the whole school, not just like one granular piece of information, yeah. but, but but really to help somebody get across that. Um, that's not, fantastic. I'm not sure who else I would name it just off that's the top of my head, but it's a good question. If people want to find out more information and connect with you, how do they do that? Uh, well, it's uh, Jonah Stein at it's the RI is my email, and I'm at Jonah Stein on Twitter. Jonah, thank you very much. I'm Murray Newells with Search Engine Journal. I'll see you next time.